Hi, beautiful souls. One of the things that I have a great fascination with is language and how we use language to uh, discuss the things that are meaningful to us. Um, and also certain words where they may trigger us or a selection of words that we may borrow from other people. Um, just, just there's so much about language which I find so very interesting and so very rich and exciting. And one of the things that I want to discuss today, apart from the fact that some words can really uh, limit us and hold us down because they can have been distorted over time, but is also the consideration of groups of words together and, um, and really being aware of everything that we're saying so that when we're saying things, we're really meaning what we're saying. So we're really upping our level of intention um, into every area of our life. We're becoming really super aware because the more super aware we are, the better we're able to create and create from. You see, a lot of the time people create um, just without any conscious awareness of what they're doing because they're just in their heads and they're just thinking about stuff. But when we're really, really consciously aware and we're really considering the words that we use and how they sound and do they sound enjoyable to us when we say them. Uh, for instance, one of my favorite um, two words together is blissful radiance. When I say that, I instantly feel good. I, I feel it in every single cell of my body. Blissful radiance. I feel it in every single cell of my body. I'll say it again. Blissful radiance. Every single cell of my body. I feel good. I know that my home one day will be called Blissful Radiance just because then I can say it even more. <laughs> it's um, There are certain words that just make you feel good and there are certain words that may trigger you. Now if a word triggers you, you have to stop and, and use that opportunity to say what is triggering me in this word? What is triggering me in the meaning of this word? What's behind the word? So that you're making more and more peace and confronting any fears in every single step, every single breath, every single moment, every single now of your lives because this is mastery. Mastery is, is, is vast. There's so many aspects um, to look at in order to master life here on the earth plane as we move from our heads and to our hearts into greater levels of love and, and, um, and higher love. We're also using a higher intelligence and our higher intelligence is not about the ego. It's about, um, it's about loving and understanding and creating more peace and more spaciousness. And we do that when we confront, not in, a, in a, an aggressive way, but in a very gentle way, in a very, very gentle way, we confront our fears, we confront our triggers, we confront everything that we are feeling some interest with so that we make them more peaceful and more gentle to us and then we know what we wish to allow into our consciousness and what we wish to release so we have to understand the words that we use because at the moment we are still very much using language uh, there will come a time when we're just fully telepathic but until that time we want to become a lot more conscious about the words that we use, the sentences that we construct and what we share with others. And our prayers, how we pray, how we create our prayers. So it's just going to kind of keep this a very short video today. I send you lots of love and God bless you all. Peace.